Hey everybody, this is Julian from Raw Physique again. All right, today I'm going to do an unboxing of a Vito Pro Tech Pack. So I actually have a review video that I already put up with a CLC versus a Vito Pro Pack. That's not a backpack, it's like a shoulder harness and a steel head backpack tool bag that I am actually replacing right now. This is the one I'm replacing and I am replacing it due to this. So zipper keeps opening up. Um, I could pull the zipper all the way down, zip it back up and it zips, but then it easily pulls through almost every single time I put it on my back. So what I did is I positioned both zippers here to try to give it as much strength as possible. So the dozen or so times that I have to lift this guy up, it does not make this worse and just leave a big gaping hole that my stuff literally falls out through. That is why I decided to get the Vito Pro Pack. It's super expensive. The steel head was maybe like 80 to to $100. I'll post that up. The CLC bag was in the hundreds. Uh, and that was the original bag I was replacing. That was very, very good. And then I had this guy as well, which was also expensive, but all it does is have a shoulder harness. So uh, with the shoulder harness, it's just not as versatile as something that's an actual backpack backpack you could have your whole arms and shoulders free to move around as you will so anyway here is the new Vito pro pack that i got i'm gonna go ahead and unbox that uh for the first time and see what it looks like so it was like 299 dollars or 309 dollars something like that it's a lot more expensive than the clc bag or the steelhead backpack but it supposedly comes with better zippers, better materials, and you know, supposedly more rugged on top of having it's a five-year limited warranty, which if you get it off Amazon, that does not have the five-year warranty. You actually have to get it from one of their certified dealers. And I think I got mine straight from the Vito Pro website. That's actually exactly where I got it from. Anyway, let's do the unboxing, first impressions, and I'm gonna see if it holds as much as this this guy this is my main my main pack right here as you can see zip ties on the zippers because the little flaps have fallen off so let's do this blum, blum, blum. So I got the orange, there's a yellow, like a camouflage, and then there's another one I'll post up right here. This is the best looking one, I think, but I really wanted to get the orange just to have a bright color, you know, for the hell of it, why not? This is it. So five years, zero downtime warranty, supposedly, on the tag. All right, so it actually looks good. The online version of this, uh, the orange, actually looks kind of crappy. Like, I think it looks really cheap online. This in person looks excellent quality and the, the orange looks awesome too. I actually really, really like this. I'm glad I got it. Yeah, this is a good looking bag. All right, so let's get a close up. The zippers feel and look pretty good. All right, lots of lots of storage that is awesome uh this the handle feels immaculate actually it's not too heavy you could tell it's a little heavier than that bag but this is a lot of you know softer materials so hopefully this rugged guy will last a bit longer now to the rear i don't even know how to work this You open up the back what is this so it looks like you undo that strap in order to open this up huh. oh you know what this that is a super good idea see this right here this is this is almost worth the bag in its own this goes well, as you see it goes underneath these and so when you lift this up it doesn't put any pressure on here and as you can see here there's nothing like that. So when you lift this up, it just pops this. Let's see, I'll show you. 
see that? And with this, yeah, that is great. Uh, that's a freaking good idea. Props to whoever designed this guy. Here's the bags and I'm gonna transfer everything over and we will see how much it holds. Before that, let me just show you a size comparison with the steel head and the CLC is the exact same layout as this in size. But uh, you could watch that review video if you want, if you're thinking about a CLC or a steel head. This is mainly a steel head versus this tech pack. This is easily twice as expensive or three times as expensive as this guy. Anyway, here's the size comparison. This has a couple little rubber feet. This has a plasticish rubber bottom with a cool little logo down here. They are about the same thickness. This is a little thinner, it looks like. That does have more use on it, so it is probably stretched out a little bit more. And I'm gonna go ahead and start transferring stuff over. Okay, so real quick, this was all the shit that I had in my steelhead backpack. I have no idea why your zipper broke. But yeah, this is maybe an excess amount of stuff, but I am going to put it all in here and we are gonna go from there and see how well it takes all this stuff. There's actually more junk in there, but it was literally trash that I decided to just throw away instead of put out here on display for everybody. Okay. Time to transfer over. Okay, so I just finished transferring everything over from this steel head to the Vito Pro Pack. I can already tell you there's just a couple things I don't like about it. Uh, some of the storage, uh, like here, and having these big uh, flat pockets are, are awesome if you're keeping a bunch of loose screws. Uh, what I had to do was I had to move some stuff around and stick my loose screws in a bag like this because, let's see if I can show you, this material right here, is super super soft so if you have any anything at all anything sharp is gonna puncture right through this so that material is very soft i guess it's for storing items like this and maybe hammers or whatnot but uh this material is it's good it feels good it feels like it could take a beating and have a bunch of tools sit in there sounds like i'm out of breath this took a lot longer than i thought it would so here's the back of the pack Still kind of trying to get used to having everything situated in here and where I'm gonna ultimately keep everything. Uh, but the stuff I don't access as much, I'm gonna have in this back compartment uh, just so uh, I could leave this attached. And you know, unattaching this every single time you're doing a diagnostic or working on something could be a pain in the ass. But, uh, but so far it's been pretty cool. Here's the old pack. Uh, there's the rear compartment of this. And again, you could watch that other video between the CLC and the steel head, uh, which are pretty much the exact same layout. But anyway, I'm gonna zip this guy up. Okay, so this is them next to each other again, just for a size comparison. Oh man, I even have stuff still in here. So let me put that brush in here. I am glad I did this. I forgot about this pocket right here. So anyway, uh, uh, so there was actually, when I laid everything out, there was another pocket on this that I didn't even know until I started removing everything out. So I even had more shit in there. Size comparison, I'll give you the walk around. And uh, that is these bags. So anyway, that's my first impressions. Oh yeah, one thing that I do not like, I will show you this real quick. You see how this has this big base down here, right? The bag only opens up this far. So you have this big crevice right here. And it, it's a lot larger than you think it is. It's on both of these sides. But if anything falls down here, it's actually difficult to get to. And it's so large, it's like if they if they utilize that better, that would add a lot more space to the bag. But right now, it's literally, I have this shoved down there, uh, which is magnetic and holds stuff. But I don't know if you can see how big this is, but look at that. Uh, and that's on both sides. Blah, blah. 
So anyway, that's something that I don't like about it because any anything could easily fall down there and you literally can't see it at all. You have to stick your hand down there and fish around for it. But anyway, that's like a, another negative to that bag. But uh, the quality seems awesome. I think it looks pretty sick. One more quick thing about this I want to say that is pretty cool. Uh, all this, these, and on the rear are reflectors. So at night, uh, they'll be highly reflective. And uh, I noticed this tucked in the back here. Um, it can support the whole weight of the backpack and uh, it's pretty cool. I uh, just wanted to throw that in there and let me know if you actually want to see a review after like several months of use for that guy. Maybe six months, year, whatever. But I will do another review on it and see how it holds up next to uh, the CLC and uh, the steelhead that I'm replacing it with. If you want any reviews, installs, truck reviews, lifting videos, this is mainly a fitness channel, but uh, I do shit like this sometimes. But anyway, please subscribe wherever it's at and check out the assortment of other videos that I have. And if you like it, give a thumbs up. And uh, hey, that's it for today. Peace.